Imagine you won the lottery, but that ticket gave an infinite amount of money. But it's also V-Bucks. This person was handed the golden ticket to King Zhao's money factory and they turned into Augustus Gloop. And like Augustus Gloop, their voracious appetite for virtual money knew no bounds. Not even morals. Not only did this person betray their community, they managed to stab the content creators in the back as well. The basic gist of it is that King Zhao entrusted this goofball with a code intended for their followers, but in turn, they kept redeeming it for themselves. It was supposed to be a one-time use code, but it could have been redeemed an infinite amount of times due to King Zhao not putting a limit on it. So that person said to themselves, Today, I'm gonna sit here for hours in my easy gaming chair and redeem these codes until I have 11 million crowns. Crowns being the main currency in this game. What I'm wondering is, how the hell does anyone have that mental capacity to do stupid shit like this? Like hours on end, clicking the same goddamn captcha. I could understand maybe stopping at half a million, but to redeem a code for 2500 over and over for 4000 times to get 11 million is insane. But the more I read about the situation though, it wasn't actually 2500 crowns, it was 60,000. But they still redeemed it 183 times, which doesn't make it any less worse or stupid. To put into perspective, 11 million crowns is the equivalent of $15,000 in USD. The person then proceeded to use those crowns on the Wizard101 trade discord to trade for in-game items and gift cards, which totaled about $341.50, but who, who cares about that? This is practically money laundering, which is straight out illegal. You could even see the transaction logs of what they traded. Usually, King Zhao has never been one to put forth trust within their own community, and with content creators, it's even further. But this one goofball decided to abuse their privilege, this trust that King Zhao gave them, to do stuff like this. I just happened to see this browsing through Reddit since nobody told me about it. Not only does this set a precedent for people like this, but it means it's gonna be hard for any other content creator in this space to be trusted by King Zhao going forward. I could hardly give a shit about ripping off a company that rips you off, but when you do that to people in your own community or within that scope of that community, it's quite a low blow. If you do happen to know this person, don't go harassing them. If you do that, you're no better than the person that made these fraudulent acts in the first place. Now, I don't know what they gained out of it. Maybe they were expecting a big bang, but what actually happened was a fizzled out dry fart. King Zhao always takes L's, so this is not news, but I think that they deserve part of the blame for not limiting the code in the first place. The content creator though was banned a few days later, and I believe the items were taken back. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Overall, the entire situation sucks for everybody involved. King Zhao should make sure this stuff never happens, and the person should obviously make amends with the people they traded and or reimburse them in some way. So anyways, I thought this was a silly, wacky story that I had to share my thoughts on. Uh, other than that, I'd subscribe if you're new, take care, and I'll see you guys.